when we need to differentiate a trigo with a power, this is a chain rule. So recall in your basics of uh, differentiation, if I want to differentiate anything to the power of n is equals to power bring down n. The fx inside the chain does not change, n minus 1. Then we remember to multiply by the differentiated of the bracket. Okay, so for a uh, chain rule with trigonometric function, it is also the same. I give you three simple steps. Number one, I differentiate the power first, kind of like using the power rule first, apply chain law. Number two, then I differentiate the trigo, which is like what I did above. And number three, differentiate the angle. Okay, so from outside to inside. Okay, from outside to inside. Let's just take a look at this example over here. Differentiate sine square x. Power bring down. So dy dx is equals to power bring down 2. The sine x remain. Okay, now you multiply by differentiate the trigo. Differentiate sine become cosine x. Is there any angle to differentiate? Actually, well, differentiate x is 1, so that's why usually we do not write. And that is the answer, 2 sine x, okay, cosine x. And if you are good with trigo identity, you should know that this is called sine 2x. But it's not a necessary to always convert, unless the question asks you to do so. Okay, 2 cosine cube 3x, same thing. When I do dy dx, what happens? Power bring down, 2 times 3. 6 cosine square because this is a chain rule my chain still remain the same 3x multiply by now i differentiate cosine 3x differentiate the trigo is negative sine 3x and then last part differentiate the angle multiply by 3 just put everything nicely negative 18 cosine square 3x sine 3x uh, and you are done Okay, so if you see a chain rule, add one more step in front, which is differentiate, use the power law first for the chain rule. Okay, then you differentiate the trigo, then you differentiate the angle.